Hi everybody, this is Carrie from A Little Pink Elephant. I'm here to show you how I cut circles. May not be the same way as everyone else, but this is my way. So here we are, I'm cutting some white circles, or light blue. Um, it's a full sheet of Yakagini. And let's get started. I already did two rows. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 12. So I should get 24 out of one sheet. So I start here. I make sure the ends do not go over. Okay. Make sure you have plenty of room to do your circles. Okay. Put the side down. And just when you hear that click, you know that it has stopped. You hear a little sound and you know you've come to the end. You don't want to go over your circle or it can cause glass to split. I always start at this end, go all the way around, and there we go. Right here. Here, here, making sure the little black part right here, or the little <laughs> copper, because the blade's right under there. See that? So, I'm making sure the blade does not go over. See how it will go over here, so I'm going to move it this way a little bit. Put down the little clip, and here we go. It goes pretty fast. It's a great way to get the most out of your glass. Be patient and cut your circles. Here we go. See how there's space in between where I can cut? It's pretty close, but I can get it. And you'll be able to, you can start off if you're not comfortable cutting circles, spacing them out a little bit. Because we do have this space here. And we'll have a little bit of space on the side too. I just like to use the edges for other things. Um, just get the most out of your glass. Always check your circles because these things... I take my pliers and tighten them, but sometimes they come loose. And before you know it, not all your circles are the same size. And right now, I need the same size circles because I'm making glow-in-the-dark mushrooms. Okay. Almost done with these ones. further than I should have done, but that's okay. Like I said, I have room. You want to try to get it to line up because when you take your scoring tool down the middle, you want to try to get in the middle of that area. So then when you break it apart, you're breaking it up in strips and then this way. I always cut the short way, then the long way. I'll show you that in a second. One more. So this kind of comes out white right here. It's kind of like a blue, but it really comes out white. And let's get these. Here we go. Last one. This glass is from the Yakagini Uncategorized. It was like when I went to their um, Yakagini sale last year, I went and got it, I think it was $15 a sheet, to normally $20 a sheet. It's fusible. It works. I use the clear fusible um, to make circles. See, this is, see if you can see it, see the clear. And so I just put it on top 
of the white. So I put my glow in the dark powder here. I put the clear on top, see if you can see this. And then I put whatever toppings I want. <laughs> cupcake, right? I'm doing a cupcake. No, I put the frit on there, different colors of frit. Um, let me go get my scoring tool because of course I forgot to bring it. I'll be right back. And here is one of the mushrooms we've done. Um, we just took a mixture for it, made a design. The white will glow in the dark. And it's white on the bottom. See, this really turns white. I thought it would go in more of a blue. So I just kind of use it for my mushrooms. Okay, you can use any color on top. It's just the lighter the color, more the glow. If you're not doing glow in the dark ones, then Use any color on the top. I just love my glow-in-the-dark mushrooms. Here we go. I'm going to start at this end. Try not to hit the edges. If you hit the edges, stop. And then go on the other side and run it. So if I were to hit the edge here, I would take it this way and run it to this side. So when it breaks, it will break, go around, and keep going, okay? So I try to leave a little space. Sometimes I really don't get a full sheet and I want to get like this is really close right here. So this is going to give us a lovely, I did it. Here's another one. Great. And then One more. Nope, see, so cut the hit the side. Now I'm going to go up here and hit the side. Let's get this. Side. There we go. Now, what I do, because it's not fully. Um, not transparent so it's hard to see when I flip it over I just go over the line so I know what I'm following this is what I, I mean you don't have to do it but I do it if it's a darker color it's pushing it <laughs> but I don't usually do my glow in the dark in a darker color because like I said they're glow in the dark and black doesn't let the glow in the dark powder show. So they're not as nice, not as glowy. So here I hit this, and now I hit here. I'm gonna come down, and my luck, it probably won't work because I'm on the camera, but that's okay, we'll try it. So I don't know if you watched my videos in the past where I was telling you how to cut the birds, but when you're cutting, for some reason, you never start at the edge. It's just really hard to start at the edge. But when you come down, you always end at the edge. So what I do is when I turn it over, I make sure the edge that I ended at is the edge that I started at with breaking. There we go. Haven't had one break on me yet, but I'm so careful to turn this over. Now you're gonna hear a lot of breaking noise. Okie dokie. So this is the side I ended at. And I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but you can see the run. It's very hard to see the run. And this is where I hit, it went out so I could see that. So I'm gonna start at this end. Because if I keep hitting it, that run is going to go into the circle. And then it pops off, see? Now if I take it over, there's a little bit, I'm not sure if you can see this, let's see. There's the run that was going this way towards the circle, wasn't following. This is why I make the lines. I know that it's not following that circle. 
or following the line, it's going towards the circle. Only because I have those red lines, I know where the lines are. Okay, same here. A lot of people think Yakigani is hard to cut. You know what? It's amazing. It is so amazing. This is my favorite glass to work with. So that really ran because I wasn't paying attention. So I'll probably lose a circle. Flip it over, see where that run is. See if you can see that run. Don't know if you can see it on video. I turn it over. Yeah, it started here and it goes in. So, right here. So if I'm careful enough when I cut this, I might be able to save that circle because it's underneath and the color will be on it so you won't even see it. Let's just hope I'm careful enough. <laughs> Let's go down, start this in. This actually went on a circle. Didn't think I hit it, but I must have. There we go. I love how they just pop off. See? Just pops off. And here we go. Start on this side. Like you guys might not be able to see the line that I put in if I wrote it black. You know, I tried just saving my black because they're uh, my black markers are um, waterproof, so I try saving that for when I'm using water. Let's see, that just broke. Nice, neat, and look, ta-da! Nice and neat. And we have this one. This is the one that we uh, hit the edge. See, and when I went, it hit the edge, so I finished going off. So it went around the circle. So if you hit the edge, you can feel it, you know, taking your roller across, you know when you've hit that and the cut part. So stop and go from there and go to the next one. Take the line from the other direction. Not broke good, but that's okay. I need that. It's not one of my circles. It's okay. There we go. So now for these. Now 
I go down the sides. If you hit the side, go from the other end. And see how I'm able to go all the way off? This way, it helps so much. But sometimes with these, I'm able to just and break them. See? I'm not even going to try it because it's going to break on me. I know it. There we go. I need a new pair of these. I don't know where my other ones are that have black electrical tape on. But these worms work. Go through. Go through. Go through. So I'll do these ones all in a second. Let me show you. And then I have my bucket full of scraps. Yes, I do. There, I had to cook it, my good ones. So. There I do. Dosing pliers. Um, I'm making mushrooms. They don't have to be perfect, but I don't like to stab myself with these pieces of glass. So if they're perfectly circle, not perfectly, but good. They don't have to be perfect. There we go. So I made mushrooms the other day. These are the two colors I used, white and clear. So this is my white and clear bucket. And I think I'm going to make something with all these scraps. Don't know what, but I like the fact that mixing the white and the clear together, the texture it gives in the glass. So maybe another bowl. I don't know. Yeah, why am I not pulling this right? And this is how I make my circles. Nice and easy, quick and easy. If you want them perfect, because those always leave those, you know, chunks on it like I just took off. But if you go in, you can pull it off this way, but it takes a little longer. Yeah, I'm not doing it. But you can go around and get it, but you're doing this anyway, so then you only take off those little extra pieces. So it takes me about an hour, maybe, not even that, 45 minutes to cut out 48 circles for my mushrooms. And then it takes more time to decorate each one because I don't have either any of them the same. These ones I'm actually, I'm not, I'm not going to put clear over these ones. I already did that set. What I'm going to do is we've heard of the light leak. Oh, cut myself somewhere. Well, no, come on. So I'm going to do the light leak and look up it from um, Creative Paradise. They have a light leak plate that I'm going to use their idea where you take a smaller circle just about a half inch smaller quarter inch smaller then you break it and you kind of want to be a solid you want solid um opalescent yeah you want to be opalescent so and then you smash it and then you put it on the thing spreading the pieces out to the edges then i put the glow in the dark powder in between there and then I put some frit. Um, I'll show you later on some pictures of those, but I really, really like the idea of them and they sell very well. Um, they're one of my biggest sellers, but not everybody wants it, but some do. So I'm gonna go clean up my finger because, well, yeah, blood happens. 
And that's what we do. I hope you enjoyed my video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have any questions or any suggestions, put it down below. Thank you. Hope you have a happy Valentine's Day. Bye.